5 4 3 2 1 0 we have achieved soft landing on the moon yeah. india is on the moon vikram lander had successfully arrived on the moon india did something that no other country has been able to do in 1969 america sent its first man on the moon the soviet union had already done a few space missions by then and around the same time a small developing country in asia was setting up its space agency and isro was born this small organization is the most underrated space agency which has been quietly but consistently working and achieving some incredible results who thought this 54 year old agency would become the first space agency to land a spacecraft on the moon south pole and will be able to land on mars in its first attempt and that too in a budget less than that of a hollywood movie in august 2023 when chandrayaan 3 landed on moon south pole it was a pride moment for 1.4 billion indians this landing was more special after a failed attempt of chandrayaan 2 in 2019 that crashed onto the moon's surface before landing we became the fourth country to land to demonstrate the soft landing onto the moon's surface and we became the first country to go to the near to the south pole of the moon but even after these achievements why is isro still an underdog waiting for its recognition on the world stage let's figure out the space research in india traces back to 1920s with the experiments by the indian physicist s k mitra but the major leap came in 1945 with the foundation of the tata institute of fundamental research and physical research laboratory by renowned scientist homi baba and vikram sarabhai then in 1962 after the suggestion of vikram sarabhai the indian national committee for space research was set up by then prime minister jawahar lal nehru after that india started doing experiments with sounding rockets and started doing launches from 1967 onwards later in 1969 indian national committee for space research was suspended by indian space research organization or isro and india entered into a world dominated by only two countries america and soviet union isro took 7 years to develop a satellite launch vehicle and unfortunately its first launch in 1979 failed causing the rocket to crash into bay of bengal the launch was successful next year and isro launched the rohini series one satellite into orbit making india the seventh country to reach earth's orbit after ussr us france uk china and japan after a few successful attempts of the slv rocket isro built an advanced version called aslv or augmented satellite launch vehicle the aslv was a five stage solid fuel rocket that aimed to deliver payloads into geostationary orbit but unfortunately aslv had limited success and three out of four launches failed and soon it was discontinued After that in 1990s India brought PSLV or Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. The PSLV was designed to deliver payloads into sun's synchronous orbit. The PSLV is still used by India and it has launched 342 foreign satellites from 36 different countries into various orbits. And though it was designed in the 1990s, it is still much more efficient than many rockets from other space agencies. After PSLV India built GSLV or geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle which was an upgrade of aslv to date gslv had 15 launches and is used to send larger payloads into geostationary transfer orbit isro is now developing more powerful rockets to carry heavy payloads they also have plans to develop electric and nuclear propulsion for satellite and spacecrafts using these rockets india has thus far completed 125 spacecraft missions and 92 launch missions including the three lunar missions known as Chandrayaan 1, 2 and 3 the Mars mission and solar mission India also has its regional navigation satellite system that covers India and around 1000 miles of region around it and has plans for expansion when isro was founded in 1969 america and soviet union were excelling in technology and their businesses were flourishing but india was working hard for basic necessities When NASA had a budget of 35 billion dollars, ISRO was surviving on less than 100 million dollars. Fast forward to this date, NASA has a budget of 25 billion dollars 
and ISRO $1.6 billion. The differences are still huge, but this difference made the Indian Space Agency smart enough to build low-cost satellites. But still the question is that how India is able to complete all of its space missions on such a tight budget. Well, there are a few reasons that make India's space program so modest. The first reason is the comparatively cheap labor market. And that is why ISRO pays far less to its scientists than other space agencies. For example, an average scientist in India is paid around $15,000. Whereas in the US, the same scientist will be paid $100,000. That is almost six times. Also, nowadays India uses in-house technology and ships rocket by road rather than importing from other countries. And that means the cost of launching Indian rockets is 50 to 70 percent less than other countries. For example, the cost of launching India's PSLV is just 19 million dollars as compared to SpaceX Falcon 9 of 65 million dollars. And that is why India's Mars mission costs just 73 million dollars as compared to NASA's half a billion dollars. Apart from this, India's space missions span for a few years only, as compared to NASA's decade-long missions, which adds up in the mission cost as well. ISRO has had a few victories until now, and landing on the moon's south pole has shown the capabilities of the Indian Space Agency. Now, after the exploration of water and ice on the moon's south pole, the race has started between the countries. Both the US and China are planning to land humans on the moon. US has planned to send astronauts to the moon by 2025. However, in terms of space explorations, India is still far behind US, Russia and China. But this is the real time for ISRO. Of these three countries, one is fighting with an unstable economy, the second one is fighting a war and third one is focusing on conquering the world. So it's high time for India and other Asian countries. India has already plans to send its people to the space. They are preparing for the first astronaut mission called Gaganyaan to send three astronauts into orbit on its own spacecraft. The mission is planned for 2024 and if successful, India would become the fourth country in the world after the US, Soviet Union and China to independently send humans into space. The Indian government is now taking space missions seriously and it's visible as the ISRO budget has continued to increase in the last few years. Although they are not on the level of NASA or SpaceX, but there is no dearth of knowledge and capabilities in ISRO. Let us know what you think about the Indian Space Agency. Do you think that India will be able to defeat the US, Russia and China in the space race? Let us know in the comments below. And definitely subscribe to the channel. This is an extremely small channel and your support will help me with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you.